Hello, YouTube. Um, things that I learned. I really can't remember, dude. That's bugging the shit out of me. Uh, auto save on is fine. Advanced settings. Ooh, no, we don't need to mess with any of that. There's no uh, screen settings, though. That's kind of annoying. Subtitles are turned on, right? Yeah. Please selection options. Save. Save. I really hope that the song is just skipping and it's not meant to be this, like, one sound effect over and over again. Because if it is, that's kind of annoying. Um, difficulty is set to normal. Yes, that's fine. I'm okay with normal. It is an ancient time, and dragons still roam upon the earth. Two great powers, the Union and the Empire, wage fierce war for the control of a goddess who protects the harmony of the world. In only a short time, the Empire has become powerful beyond reckoning, and now it turns to attack the castle where the Union safeguards the goddess. The world teeters on the brink of chaos. Its fate now lies in the hands of one man. It's me. I'm that one man. Chapter one, beginnings. Um, I mean, it wasn't necessarily recently, but wow, that's just rude, Rue. <laughs> um... But that electricity doesn't actually flow through wires. It's just an electromagnetic force that, like, surrounds the wires. Wire is just a conduit for the uh, force to follow, basically. Like, but that wasn't, like, recently, per se. Uh, yeah, electricity's weird, man. Her dress isn't sitting right. I was not paying attention to her dress. <laughs> What is with this, like, B-movie horror opening, though? Oh, okay, it's a war scene. Got it. See, that's... Okay. It's just like, it begins. Creepy music. Crow flying through the sky. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, slicing dudes in half. Let's go. I think that's the main protagonist. I'm confusing like this in Final Fantasy XII though. Cause like I wanna say well, yeah, that we play as brother. But I think I'm just thinking of Ven from Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> like <laughs> He ain't dead yet. Injured a bit, but he ain't dead. That's how you know that uh, enemy was evil with the red eyes, dude. I really can't tell if the music is skipping or if this is like the one square game that has terrible music. Came and his Union soldiers battle toward the castle to protect Furai, goddess of the seals and Kaim's only sister. The Empire murdered Kaim's parents and destroyed his kingdom. Now it assaults the very castle where his sister is safeguarded. With a revenge cold in his heart, Kaim hurls himself at the army of the Empire. Weapon? What's this? You have no more weapons to equip. Uh, okay. Explanation? Okay, we got, we got stats. Character's not name. <laughs> Came, Kime, it's the same thing. <laughs> What's the difference, really? Oh. The goddess Furai's castle is surrounded. Kill the commanders marked with the target symbol and break the siege. Press R3 by clicking the right analog stick to view the map and other game information. Okay. So wait, this is basically like Square Enix's version of that that samurai game where you just fight hordes of people. Sorry, I was just taking a mute moment to listen to the music and uh, just how wonderful it is. Dynasty Warriors, that's the name of the game. Yes, thank you. Is there like a dodge roll? Oh, we got magic. 
Get burnt, bitch. Empire ain't shit, dude. Ow. Sword swings are effortless to say the least. Yes. Uh, okay, this is, I'm guessing, how we pick our weapons. Yeah, the sword swinging is definitely a bit odd, isn't it? Like, feels almost, like, too weighty, which I didn't think I would ever say in a game. Can we really only dodge left and right? Oh, we can block. Can we block and fireball? We can. Get wrecked, dude. Do we have mana? Oh, I see. The green thing. I thought the green was our health. No, that's mana. Okay. And murdering people gives us more mana. That makes sense. Oh. The camera's weird. Okay. So, like, if we're just chilling here, right, and I point this to the left, it doesn't actually, like... Turn the camera, turn the camera. In the way that you would normally think a game would. Right? Like, the camera turns, obviously, but it doesn't continue to rotate. I'm holding the camera to the left, but holding straight forward. I'm still running forward. Like, it doesn't actually change the direction we move. Interesting. I mean, the game must have done at least reasonably well. It did get a second one. I can see maybe why I didn't play too much of it when I was a teenager, though. Because, like, Dynasty Warriors exists. <laughs> and while Dynasty Warriors may not have as good of a story as this uh, could have, it does at least feel better to play. Oh, there's at least three of them? Okay. Fury Eye. Ow. So, like, the little yellow symbol that keeps popping up in the bottom right-hand corner, is that is that our sister? Wait a second. We can do, like, power attacks with magic? Oh, let's go, dude. Get wrecked, noob. The circle do anything? No. Can we do like... Okay, we can do a different attack when we jump. But if we do like one swing and then triangle... Oh, it automatically does the second swing for us. Weird, okay. Is there any reason not to just use this combo all the time? Because it doesn't seem to be using our mana. Cool. The story gets dark fast. Nice. Who doesn't like a nice dark story? Get fireballed, noob. Can we just, like, ignore all these other people? It's weird that I can't, like, dodge roll straight forward. Lord Inuat is with the goddess. Ow. Okay, I guess that's one reason potentially not to constantly do the combo. The combo does have like a charge time. So if you're surrounded by a bunch of people, you could get smacked about a little bit in the meantime. Oh, do you even have an hour per mission like Dynasty Warriors? This is 100% just... Square Enix Dynasty Warriors, dude. The music is kind of trash, though. I'm not going to lie. When Kaim's weapon flashes, press the magic button to unleash a long-range finishing blow. What? Like, I'm pressing triangle when it... Does it have, like, a different flash? Hold on. What if we, like, run for a little bit? No? 
Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, it, like, flashed there whenever I did, like, the stabby forward move. Hold on. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm trying to just run in a straight line for a moment. Nope, that didn't do shit. Like, it doesn't seem to have a long-range effect. It is AoE. Do we have, like... We don't have anything. Okay. Can we knock you off your horse? Nope. But we can fuck your shit up. What are the, the dudes with the yellow circles? What makes them special? <laughs> this dude just got launched all over the damn place. Are they? No, okay, everybody's giving me experience. How work, game? So my mouse is complaining. It's dying, apparently. I could have swore I just had it plugged in, like, yesterday, though. Okay, uh, hold on. Where's the, like, commander? Because that's the person we actually want to deal with. You. You guy. Stabby attack! Stabby attack didn't do much. They're within the castle walls. Wait. Your sister, I mean her lady. Is it like the goddess? No. I'm like looking for all of the times that the sword flashes to try to figure out when to press the triangle button for that supposed long range attack, but it's not it's not making sense to me, man. Was it in the castle? Is that where we need to go next? I'm assuming there's something special about these guys with the white circle or the, the yellow circles by their health bar. Maybe they drop something? It doesn't seem like they give extra experience. The Empire soldiers have caught a dragon in the castle Bailey. His sister is nutso. Nice. No spoilers, though, because this might end up being a game that we finish at some point. Also, <laughs> knockback is cheese for sure, dude. When you're fighting like a sm sm small group or single person like this, you can just infinitely stunlock them with this uh, magic sword attack thing. Treasure box has appeared. Apparently close by. Oh, right there. Okay, we just run into it. What did it give us? Anything fun? Can I go through the door? Nope. What are we doing? I can't see our, st uh, our mission status. Here we go. The enemy is in the castle, and Imperial Guards block the gate. Defeat them and recover the portcullis key. Is that not what was in the chest? So far, you would vet for pets to complete over this. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, it's just, like, sitting there. Weird. You have the key. Enter the castle. I'm trying, game. Do we get to fight the dragon, Protect though? Her. Protect Furiai. I enjoy this game more than Pets 2, though. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect. The music is either broken on my copy or shit, one or the other. And uh, Dynasty Warriors, I would say, is, like, objectively better. But, like, I don't know. So far, it's not bad. Seems like it probably has an interesting story, at least. I need to turn my AC on real quick. It be warm in here. Is there going to be a cutscene? If there's a cutscene, I'll let that play out first. No, okay, cool. I'm going to go turn my AC on. It's like right there. It won't take a So, be right back. Maybe. I can't figure out how to twitch. Okay.
Okay, we back. Uh, turn the screen on. There we go. But we got a new weapon, Bone Breaker. The magic attack is Yammer's Fang. Wymer's? Yammer's? I don't know how it's pronounced. Plug the mounts in. Level one weapon, huh? Select weapons to carry into battle. Select a weapon from the list on the right and place it on the weapon wheel. You may equip up to eight weapons. Oh, we only have two, so equip both. Uh, equip it here. Sure, that's fine. Okay. I think we did the thing. What Ivlet did with the magic hat? I feel like I'm missing something. Did they? Did they? Did somebody talk about that? <laughs> I, I don't know what's that's going right. on. Oh my god, that's from Pets. Jesus Christ, I just, I typed in Ivlet, and <laughs> the first thing that popped up was Pets 2. Oh man, yeah, real riveting story, that one. Wait, are we releasing the dragon or killing the dragon? Wait, did the dragon eat our sister? Hydrate? Okay. Tell me, do you still want to live, dragon? Oh, what? A pact! There's no other way! What makes you worthy of a pact with me? Worthy or not, I wish to live. Despise me if you will, but I shall not die! Your answer! A pact or death! Got that good old clear American strawberry, eh? Eh? And I'm already sitting up about as straight as I can get, my guy. <laughs> like, uh, stretch it out. Ugh, okay. Inside the castle, Kame finds... Kime? Kame? <laughs> Whatever. Look, for some reason when I see that word, Kame comes to mind. <laughs> Inside the castle, Kime finds before him a dragon. The proud beast cruelly fettered. His parents were murdered by a dragon, but Kaim knows that a pact will give him the power he needs to battle the Empire, and the dragon knows that only a pact can save its life. In the besieged castle, the dying pair make the fateful decision to live. I think our... Yeah, okay, both our weapons are already equipped. Um, oh, shit, there's a stretch here, too? Damn, dude, you're just doing all the things, huh? Standing up, gotta stretch. Stretch it out. Invisible. <laughs> Man. Look. Y'all can say you wanna see pets too complete. But does anybody really want to see Pets 2 complete? <laughs> like, I see the votes, man. The 25 from Chocobo, the Mad Lad. The, the I think, one from Noodle. Y'all are insane. I'll put it on the list, but I don't think anybody really wants this to happen, dude. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure this is 100% for the memes. <laughs> like, it's not a good game, man. It's better than I expected it to be. I'll, I'll say that much about it, but... Interrupt us! Go back to hell, hyenas! Oh, oh wait, that had a long range attack. Hold down R2 button and push left analog stick to left or right to change your equipped weapon. That's interesting. There may have been one vote on it, but I don't remember these things. Wait, do we still have the fireball? Oh, we have an Earth spell now. We're the fucking Avatar, dude. Let's go. Oh, wait. Are my headphones dying too? Everything is dying. Ow. I will always overcommit to a bit. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a uh, custom ROM hack of Pets 2 for the PS2 now so we can turn it into a creepy pasta. Can we bend metal? 
We're already master earthbenders, apparently. Why does... The camera suck. <laughs> the camera is actual shit. Oh, we're out of out of mana. We need to kill more fools. Now, what was it? We we hold R2 to switch weapons. There we go. You and Chocobo both voted tonight. I can't remember if you guys voted on it before or not. You may have, but my memory is very poor. <laughs> you think you both voted in the past? You probably did. <laughs> like I said, I'll add it to the list, man. But I don't think you really want it, dude. <laughs> I don't think anyone really wants it. All I can hope is that it's a relatively short game. Also, are we actually invincible? Because I realized last time we finished with 100% health. And it looks like our health hasn't gone down at all this time at all, either. Ow. Yeah, see, we just got fucking decked, dude. And we didn't lose no health. Do you by chance partake in theater at college? What? Or did you? Uh, I mean, I guess Chocobo, did you did you do theater in college? <laughs> I don't I don't take Chocobo for a for a theater in college kind of guy, but I don't know, maybe. Because he always commits to the bit. Of course. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Oh my god, did I ever tell you guys this just happened recently? I guess you can say this is what I learned recently. Um, but this guy, while I was at work, comes up to me and, and a, a person that I was working with. My headphones just died. Um, anyways, and it was like heading towards the bathrooms, and he says, Hey. And so we turn, we look at him, we're like, Hey, do you need something? He's like, No, nah, I just want to know, do you guys know what kind of trees? grow in bathrooms right and like it sounds like an obvious setup for a bad joke so i'm like no what kind and he just stares at me and then he paces around for a moment and then he looks at the the girl that i was working with and doesn't say anything paces around for a little bit more um comes back over says something like under his breath couldn't really tell what he was saying paces around a bit more finally comes back and he's like you know, some people say things like pine or or something else. And at this point, I'm so confused. I'm like, I thought this was going to be a joke, but maybe not. So I'm just like, oh, yeah, maybe because of, like, the, the pine smell of, like, in cleaning products or something like that. And then he's like, no, that's not it. I'm like, oh, okay, man. And then he paces around a little bit more, comes back one more time, and he's like, it's uh, toiletries, by the way. Toiletries is the answer. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's good, man. He's like, yeah, it's a, it's a dad joke. I just, uh-huh. <laughs> like, and the worst part is, I actually like the joke, but the delivery was so freaking bad, man. <laughs> like, so freaking bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> all he had to do was, like, walk over and be like, yo, what kind of what kind of trees grow in, in bathrooms? Oh, man, I don't know. What kind? Toilet trees. Like, if he would have just said that, I probably would have gave a legitimate laugh, and that would have been the end of it. But the dude was fucking weird. <laughs> Page security. I, the thought definitely crossed my mind. He was there with a young child, so, like, I wasn't suspecting him too much. But the more he was going on, man, I don't know. thought he was trying to sell you drugs. It's, he may have been, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if he was on drugs. <laughs> just the way he was acting. It was fucking weird. But, uh, yeah, so that was... <laughs> There you go. That's what I learned recently. I learned that toiletries are the type of trees that grow that grow in bathrooms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A new free expedition is available. Does that mean we can just like play through this level at will now? Wait, what? That blood says something. I didn't catch what it was other than shall. No. You're 
Gods. A pact? Then we are united by our need to live. Well? Yes, a pact. I mean, he's a little fucked up at the moment. He's also got some really big hands, dude. Like, his hand's the size of his whole chest. This is as big as my hand gets, and it's only, what, a third of the size of my chest? <laughs> like. What the fuck is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here, my guys? <laughs> they touched ovums. That's how they make packs in this world. <laughs> well, somehow that gave them both strength, I guess. Are we now a dragon rider? See, I'm inclined to believe that the music is just shit for this game. Because so far, knock on wood, but so far all of the uh, fucking FMVs and, and loading screens and whatnot have gone just fine. So I think the music is just actually shit. Don't understand how that saved their life. Neither do I, dude. The Empire is stronger than imagined. Let your soldiers battle on the ground. You must stop the attacks from the air. When fighting an aerial battle, hold down the dragon fire button to target multiple enemies. Ow. Ow. Can we, like, dodge? We can. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Is, is there a way for me to, like... Okay, we can dodge right and left. Oh, we can, like, bank. But only... But only to the left? Yeah, because the other one just, like, makes us look down. Weird, okay. Oh, X is, like, speed boost, though. I mean, as far as I can tell, we're still invincible. So I don't really see the point in trying anything. I assume it's just, you know, tutorial stuff. I think y'all just need to chill a little bit, to be honest. These dudes still alive? Yeah. So how do I look down again? Here we go. But I can't lock on facing down like this. So what's the point? Do we have like... These controls are weird, dude. Oh, and again, like we can move the camera around. But it doesn't actually, like, affect us in any way. So I guess this is how they differentiated themselves from <clears throat> Dynasty Warriors. Now the ability to fly a dragon. Ow. When we get hit, it does feel weighty. I'll say that much. Like, it looks painful. It feels like it would be painful. But this whole inability to actually take damage kind of ruins it. Get wrecked. How did they capture the dragon the first time if they're this strong, you know, the dragons, that is? Well, human, do you enjoy flying? That's aight. 
So glad you bought five pound weights. You need to start from them. Yeah, dude. Everybody has to start somewhere, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And it's better to start somewhere you're comfortable with than trying to like push yourself to the point you hurt yourself from the get-go. Because once you hurt yourself, like, you're not going to be able to work out, you know? <laughs> like, which ain't going to do you any damn good. You could do it, but you're gods. Yeah, it also depends, like, what your goal is, too, with with any sort of weightlifting, you know? Because, like, if you're trying to bulk up or whatever, then, yeah, you probably should be maxing out. But if you're just trying to increase, like, your endurance or strength or whatever, then, again, I'm no expert or anything like that, but from what I've heard, it's better to actually do a more reps of a lower amount of weight anyways to build, like, stamina and, and just overall strength. Do we have to kill everyone, or is there a specific target we're looking for? Your soldiers battle on the ground. You must stop the attack from the air. Yeah, it's not really giving us any info, is it? Other than, hey, just attack these fools. Fuck you! Is that gonna be enough? No. Damn, all that we hardly even got around this guy. Okay, that was enough. Please tell me this is the last group of enemies. This was me, like, for the first couple of minutes. Now I'm just kind of tired. Can we just, like, ram them into ow? <laughs> ow. Hey, let's go. Mission complete. I don't know, man. I pity the dragons, you know? All this power, but nothing hate but hatred in your heart. Oh, we actually did lose health that time, I see. It didn't look like we were whenever I was looking at our health bar, at least what I assume is our health bar, but we must have. I mean, the game said we did. No reason to doubt it. Another free expedition. Again, I'm assuming free expeditions are just, hey, replay this level if you want. With the strength of the dragon, Kaim is able to destroy wave after wave of the Imperial army. But as they battle, gargoyles and mighty flying warships draw closer to Furi's Fury. Uh, I forget how to pronounce that already. To the castle. The world of Dragon Guard. In an ancient time, and dragons still roam upon the earth. Two great powers, the Union and the Empire, wage fierce war. Huh? When fighting an aerial battle, press the R2 button to turn and face the targeted enemy. Oh, is that what that did? Oh, that actually makes things a bit easier. Just hold R2 the entire time. Oh. Oh, this is a lot. <laughs> what do you guys do? This is some weird, like, glitchy Matrix stuff going on here. This is weird. Okay, I think we need to back up a little bit. What are these things? They're just, like, boxes that are shooting weird digital signals at us. <laughs> we, just, we don't have a tight enough turn radius for this BS. Ow. We can just fire without being locked on, but then we can only fire like one at a time. So I don't know which is better. Hold on, get away for a moment. How close to the ground can we get? That's it. Is there like a slow the hell down button? There's a speed up button. I kind of just want to fly slower. Okay, 
Each one of these guys looks like they only take one shot to kill. Assuming we hit them. But I don't think y'all are going to win against the dragon. I'm not going to lie. If you fear the strikes too much, you shall soon be toppled. Is that some proverb shit? Also can't help but notice that we still have a mana bar. Is there dragon magic? And I guess you could make the argument that, you know, fire is dragon magic, but... Like, is there actual... Is there a spell we can do? I wish I knew about that sooner. That was pretty freaking helpful, dude. That just, like, murdered everything in one go. Is that the warship? Ow. Okay, it definitely takes a while for mana to build up as a dragon. Are you blowing this thing up like piece by piece? I don't see a health bar on it. Oh, it's the cannons. We're blowing up the cannons. Okay. Why am I flying like straight up into the air? There we go. He's hit. Is it because we're locked on? I'm confused. It's like the camera wants to stay locked onto the ship, which is making it even harder to control than normal. All right, well, we, we got there. Hey, Gucci. We got our dragon magic back, but like, I don't want to use it because we might end up facing a giant wall of cubes again. The true final boss of the game. blocking our shots it's like the weird data stuff around him like a shield what is, is this boss fight the big health bar on the side I'm assuming means this is some sort of boss maybe did that appear the last time we fought a ship Oh, there's multiple ships now. Very spooky. Get wrecked. <laughs> Bro, that dragon magic? Pretty sick, not gonna lie. Yeah, so we're like taking down a fleet, I'm assuming. I don't even know if any of these shots are hitting me. This game controls kind of like ass. Just fly away. Fly quicker. If I repeatedly hit X, do I fly quicker? Uh, I think it's about the same as if we just hold it. Can't lock on to anything. Dead ship, bro. That really the closest thing I can attack on the other side of the ship? These look like cannons over here. Yeah, like why am I locked onto the other side of the ship 
when all these things are right here, dude, in front of me. Oh, they have heat-seeking cannonballs? Bro, we're stuck. We're stuck on the way. Give wreck. Soldiers have appeared around the castle. Please return at once. Do I get to murder all of the dudes now? This is like Game of Thrones, the game. Good. Now you can dismount. Go. Remaining health 35%. It's going well, dude. Not at all getting closer and closer to death after every level. Are we dismounting? What is it? Okay. I guess that was just a hidden loading screen. Loading screen. That's fair. Wait, where's my where's my magic? The Empire surrounded the castle, used the dragon's fire, and burned the army to ash. The Empire soldiers are massing around the castle. The oh god. Immense. Frame rate. Frame rate real bad, my guys. What do they want? The goddess? Yes, that's what we want. We want to turn around quickly. Press the L1 and R1 buttons at the same time. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Did some bicep, bicep curls. Did some bicep curls. Held them over your head for five minutes and uh, something else you can't remember what. I'm glad to know my memory isn't the only one that's absolute dog shit, dude. It's always reassuring to see other people roughly might. Uh, why am I on the ground? Uh, dragon? It was much easier to murder people when you were here. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes down here, you know. Is it this way? No, I'm going the exact opposite direction. That's fine. It's probably the ADD, ADHD thing with the memory. Still comforting to know I'm not the only one, though. Yeah, so far, dude, this feels like a game that would be best, like, played while you're, I don't know, watching Netflix or something. You know what I mean? Like, just mindlessly murdering stuff while doing something else. Because the game, the, the normal gameplay feels like a grind in a different game. The only interesting part so far is the uh, story. Like, I am legit curious what's what's going on in this world with that. Damn them. We cut them down and cut them down, yet still they come. I am quite curious what 2 and 3 are like, though. You dead? You dead. Isn't there another target somewhere? A couple more, apparently. There's one. Lord Kaim, the Empire has surrounded the castle. Please hurry! Bro, I'm doing it. I'm one guy. Where are you people at, you know? Like, surely y'all could help uh, defeat this enemy army here. Not leave it all up to me on my own. It'd be nice if we had a lock-on mechanic like the dragon has, but for Kaim... I guess there's probably just too many enemies on the map for, for that when you're in person mode. the game wouldn't know who to lock on to. Not to mention if it does work like Dynasty Warriors and that Legend of Zelda spin off of Dynasty Warriors and, and the Fire Emblem spin off of Dynasty Warriors. There's a lot of <laughs> Dynasty Warriors like games. Anyways, if it works like them, it probably uh, the basic units probably spawn indefinitely. So if you did just like lock on and mindlessly murder things, you could probably get in some sort of loop where you just never win the game. 
Okay, he's over here somewhere, right? The view distance is trash. With how poorly the game's performing, though, I can understand why they set the view distance so low. I think Square Enix fell into the trap of having the character models too... Um, detailed. When in this type, type of game, you really don't want that. Oh, no shit. I never would have guessed that, Chocobo. Wait, are we hopping back on the dragon? Mount or dismount the dragon, press select. To the rear of the castle. Let not one Let's go. Show them the strength of the union. Get fucked. Is that like official or did you just like read something about like, I don't know, a location that's in both? See, it's kind of weird how well get burnt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but how well comparatively the game runs when we're flying around on the dragon? Because there's still like a shit ton of units in there, or here. It's official. No shit, dude. I really need to play the near games. Five possible endings. Near takes place 1,000 years after the fifth ending specifically. But only the fifth ending, huh? <laughs> I love when games have like multiple endings and things like that, especially whenever those multiple endings feed into other games. Um, like, I mean like when you can take your save file for instance, right? And like carry it over to another one is what I mean. But anyways, it creates messy situations like that though, where it's like, <laughs> like you can only have one ending really be canon. So it kind of screws everything up a little bit. Makes it a little a little awkward at times, I guess. So is the the in this mode when we're on the dragon? Is it time based or is it like damage based? Release hellfire, please. But literally, it like rains down comets and shit too. It's not just burning the dudes. Insane. probably a bad place to rain down on them, but whatever. But y'all know not to build your buildings on sand. Gotta have a, a strong, strong foundation, my guys. <laughs> Specifically the fifth. You really should read up on this fucking fever dream. Don't you like the near universe? Or no, it's Neo that you're always trying to get me to play, huh? Not near. What's the point of reading up on it, man? We'll just play through all the games. It'll be fun. They're all A+, obviously. <laughs> You'll paste the synopsis for the fifth ending. Yeah, that's fine, dude. You're good. You can post. I think it must be damage based. How long we get to ride the dragon? They definitely had this go too long, though, dude. This this section. Fifth ending, instead of using Seer's power, came Kaim and Angelus instead attack the queen and the three disappear through a portal. After engaging the queen monster in a rhythm game in modern day Tokyo, the two destroy it and are then shot down by a fighter jet. Bruh. <laughs> Who produced this game? Was it Tetsuya Nomura? <laughs> I feel like this is a I feel like this is a Nomura creation, man. 
100%. I feel like this is some Nomura bullshit. Oh my god, there's still so many of them. It never ends. Wait, do they heal as we, like, walk away from them? So maybe we should focus on one target at a time or one group of targets at a time, maybe? We still do, like, the dash we can. Ah, uh, too few belts. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I was literally in the VOD that was playing pre-stream. I was literally talking about Nomura and his love of belts. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Get fucked. What, he lived through that? My guy, come on. Just let these dudes die. Okay, I think, I think that's another one down. Is there any more over here? There's three more. Two more this way. There's one. Gotta loop around. I see on the mini-map now, at least, that they have a different color thing. That helps a bit. Okay, he's dead. So I think that's it for this section over here. So fresh and so clean, clean. Oh, oh, I see him. I see him. Uh, here? Nope, he's gonna live through this, ain't he? No, we got him. We got him. He's dead. This is going off the map, so not that way. This way? Yes, this way. I'm waiting for, like, the redeeming quality that led them to making three more of these games, you know? Like, because so far, I wouldn't say the game's bad outside of the music being extremely repetitive. But there's nothing yet that's really hooked me with it. Like, why did it sell... I don't know how many copies it actually sold, but why did it sell enough to, to warrant multiple sequels? There's got to be something. I guess maybe it's just the fucking fever dream of a story. Like, <laughs> people heard about that and they were like, no way, dude. I gotta try this for myself and see if it's true or not. Lord Kaib, the Empire has breached the castle. Please come quickly. Not the castle. They're in the castle. Hurry and save the goddess. Can we fly the up, maybe? No. Why couldn't we just... Can't we just fly over the castle walls? I'm confused. I guess, okay, I guess we gotta get off the dragon. Dragon riding, 100%. Were there no other games you could ride dragons on back then? <laughs> like, I don't know. Don't understand the cat. She sits behind the door and then paws at it like it's shut and she wants out. You got her trapped? Why'd you trap the poor kitty, dude? Let her out. Don't be mean to her. She's just a baby. Level three, let's go. Is that the only bonus we get? Oh no, our attack power went up too. Okay. Got some neat artwork on the case. Like there's that. Time Sword is now level two. Attack increased three to six. Combos increased three to six. Magic attack is Comet Dance, level 2. Cool. I mean, more power, more better, right? Starting a new game, loading a game. Oh, shit, we're playing. Wait, why is it top down now? They are in the castle. Hurry! Does this say? Resistors shall... Something in hell shall burn in hell. Nice. <laughs> Does that say burn? Land. 
resistor shall land in hell. Okay. Legit, though, this feels so much better in this top-down view that it's got going on right now than it does in the over-the-shoulder view it had before. They should have just made it a Diablo-like instead of a Dynasty Warriors-like game, man. No joke. Like, I think it would have done a lot better that way, or at least played a lot better that way. Like, give you a few different skills to use instead of just basic action RPG shit. Just turn this into a Diablo game, cut back on the amount of enemies by just a little bit, not even that much. 100%. I haven't watched the new trailers for 16 yet. I've been iffy about it since the first trailer. I'm still going to get it and play it, don't get me wrong, but I've been iffy about it since the first trailer. And when I heard that the uh, MMO dude was making it, I like the MMO, but like... Oh, you were talking about this? <laughs> okay. I thought maybe the new trailer looked terrible or something. <laughs> My bad. Dude can't speak. Yeah, dude can't speak. Because of his pact with the dragon, I guess. I don't know, man. We're going to figure out a way. Oh, you haven't seen any of the new trailers either? Fair, fair. Uh, one of the guys at work keeps talking about it, and, like, he seems excited for it, which is cool. But, like, like I was saying, I'm a little iffy. Because, like, I like MMOs. I like Final Fantasy XIV, which is the MMO that he fixed, the guy that making is making XVI. Um, but there's a big difference between, like, MMOs and regular Final Fantasy games. So, we'll see. We'll see. Kaim is now mute, and the mark of the pact is branded on his tongue. Such is the price he must pay for a pact with a beast as mighty as a dragon. If the goddess Furai is killed, the seals that protect the world from chaos will be lost. Chaos! Anyways, uh, Kaim's friend... Sorry. <laughs> Strangers of Paradise, anyone? No? Uh, Kaim's friend Inwart is with her, but Kaim cannot delay. He must hurry to the goddess and save her. Let's go. What's with the weird head movement the dude had? I didn't see that. I was not paying good enough attention, I suppose. Our mellow was fun. That's good, my guy. Uh, we're back to over the shoulder. Legit, I was hoping for more of that Diablo-like layout, man. That was good. Not a moment to spare. Okay, so we should just go up. Where are the stairs? This is a terrible-ass map. Isn't this our castle? Oh no, it's not our castle? Well, they kept talking about like people breaching the castle and stuff, so I thought it was like ours. Not like ours specifically, but our 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 side of the the warriors, our our, our clan. <laughs> oh, we have two magic bars now. Do I have, like, an extra magic spell? No, I can just do the one magic spell more. Uh, okay. Never mind, spoilers. Thank you for controlling yourself. It's his sisters who's basically the goddess. Like I said, she's not... See? I thought so. I thought this was essentially our castle. Upwards. Upwards. The seal is above. The goddess seal is there. Do robots already exist in this world? Because that dude sounds like a robot. Uh, okay, so free expeditions gain you more levels. Right? Exactly, dude. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> night, guys. Good night, Rue. Have a good night, man. Was his sister torturing a dragon? I mean, Kaim did say a dragon murdered his parents. So maybe, like, she was trying to get revenge on the dragon for that? But, like, the enemy had already infiltrated, too. So maybe they captured the dragon and were torturing it in the courtyard? I don't know what the hell is going on, man. Apparently, at the end of the game, there's a fucking portal that takes you to Tokyo. <laughs> and you get shot down by, what was it, a fighter jet? Like... I don't think it really matters at this point. <laughs> I think it's all just crazy. They are the same. Also, what's the point of the jump? There has been no verticalness to any of the levels so far.
they keep urging us to like rush through the these fights but then we also tell us to play the free expeditions to get more experience to get better at the game or to get stronger it's like which one do you want us to do dude you want us to take it slow and gain them levels or do you want us to hurry the fuck up Not take that long to open the chest. It's a dead fucking end. Oh god. Where's the door here? Or not the door, the This map makes no sense at all. Well, just keep running around aimlessly then. Can we like select here? No. It'd be funny if we could mount the dragon here. I wonder if there's a uh, like a code breaker code or something. <laughs> Let you mount the dragon here. The strength is inhuman. I don't know, man. They don't seem that bad. I've killed literally hundreds of them. Can we like jump down there? No. What is this way? Probably nothing, but. Oh, stairs up. Let's go. Okay. There is a chest on that level I suppose we could try and find, but nah. You're not going to worry about that. This guy that sounds like Robo JFK. I think just generic, like, I don't know if it's a uh, high ranking official in our military or what, but insert generic soldier man here, I think. You know the one thing I think this game does have that Dynasty Warriors doesn't? I may just be misremembering. Fuck, those are stairs down. What? It just goes in a circle? Anyways, blood. I don't... <laughs> I don't remember there being a bunch of blood in Dynasty Warriors, though I could be... I could be misremembering. But there is just blood everywhere in this game, dude. Apparently you can pick up a DoorDash to deliver from Wendy's. Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's? No, I, aren't they closed? <laughs> I don't I don't know this for sure, but I, I thought they closed around like midnight-esque and well, it's definitely after midnight our time right now. Dude, the camera is so ass. I press like L1 and R1 now. No, it doesn't do anything. Only on the dragon. As far as you can tell, and no answer on phone. <laughs> that sounds like a bit of a glitch, my guy. Okay, well, this just wraps back around to the other side. Well, hold on. If we go up there, maybe we can check the map. Maybe I just missed something. Wendy's does sound good, dude. Noodle and I just had Wendy's yesterday after our little uh, date that we had. We went and watched the Super Mario Brothers movie. It was really good. Uh, besides the kids. Anyways, point is we had Wendy's after that and it was delicious. Okay, so the stairs I'm assuming are somewhere in the middle of the room. Assuming that like the different levels of the map line up with each other. Goddess kill seal. The goddess kill seals? No wonder they all want to murder her, dude. What did a seal do to anyone? They're just like happy little arctic fat things. <laughs> fat little arctic things. That makes more sense. Did you freeze or are you just really good at holding still? Uh, no, I think it froze for you. Yeah, no, it's definitely moving. So it either froze for you or... Uh, Sword, shields, armor, a hidden treasure box has appeared. I don't care. Honestly, I think I'm just going to ignore it. I don't know how to get over there, and I'm not worried about it. Yeah, my, my preview window that I have up shows me moving around just fine. It has done it in the past, though, so thank you for shouting out the possibility. <laughs> like, this definitely wouldn't be the first time that, that everything froze up on me without me realizing. Just fucking Gatling gun spells. Let's go.
wonder, like, you can charge up the spells. Can somebody type in chat that it's that the stream's still working for silence? Because I don't know if he can hear me or not. I don't think he can. So can somebody let him know that the stream's still still working? He probably just needs to do a refresh. Thank you, Noodle. He said to bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time tonight, dude. <laughs> With your bath. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, the fuck? Okay, yeah, this is the right spot. Magic Gatling gun! You were silenced and confirmed the refresh? Yeah, I don't know, man. Twitch is kind of shit sometimes, too, so. Remember our pact. You are honor bound to live. You are honor bound to live. So what happens if I die? Like, what are you going to do about it? I'm dead. Like, hydrate. We will pause for a hydrate. But, like, when I was younger, man, and I had to see a therapist, right? They made me sign a contract saying that I wouldn't off myself. Which, you know, I get the I get the, the sentiment behind it, you know, that's fine. And if that's what works for somebody, then, you know, more power to them or whatever. But for me, like, all I could possibly think... Hold on, let me take my, my hydrate. Exactly, exactly what Chocobo's saying. Like, they can't win that in court. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I do... What are they going to do? Like, this contract, there's no way it's binding. Like, I don't, I don't understand, dude. <laughs> so I understand the sentiment of it, right? Like, just, just saying officially in some way that you won't do it. But, like, what are you going to do if I do? Like, it does nothing. I don't know, man. People are weird, but... I mean, I didn't, so maybe it worked. <laughs> didn't want to break that contract. Is what is the most interesting thing you have recently learned? Uh, that this game is fucking insane. <laughs> learned you can sue yourself and your insurance will pay if you want. I read an article about that. I don't know if it's real or not. Well, I say article is like a Reddit thread or a 4chan green text or something around along those lines. <laughs> So, like, I don't know if it's true or not. It might have been the same thing you were reading. Yeah, the boomerang. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't look into it at all, though, to see if it's real. But but essentially, what he's what Chocobo's talking about is uh, that a guy sued himself um, because he threw a boomerang and it came back and hit him, uh, causing... I don't remember, like, if the article said exactly what kind of injury it caused, but basically it injured him. So he sued himself for some amount of money. He won the case, and his insurance had to pay out the, like, hundred grand or whatever it was that the case was for. So, like, <laughs> but, like <laughs> if it's real, like, what? <laughs> it makes no fucking sense, dude. But I wouldn't be surprised, you know? That's the thing, too. Like, there are so many weird loopholes in, in every law ever, basically. That, like, there probably is some legit way to do that and for it to work out. As dumb as it fucking is, you probably can if you know enough about the law and get the right judge. Like, seems legit, right? I believe it, man. Why not, you know? If it's not true, then it's harmless. Like, until I go and try to sue myself and rack up 50 grand in lawyer's fees. And the judge is like, you can't fucking sue yourself. Gavel down, case over. Like, lawyer's like, all right, man, pay up. Shit. I'll have no money, though. Why do you think I'm suing myself? Can I sue myself for being poor? Because I made bad decisions with my money? Like, can I sue myself for that? That seems like a, a valid medical problem, right? Something, something screwy in my head. Oh, that's the, the goddess person, by the way. I don't know who the dude in red is. What he's got to do with any of this. And now we're back in the freaking Diablo camera. 
but it feels so much better in this one, man. Legit, like, this is how the whole game should play. Can we still jump? We can still jump. Weird. Too many games just, like, are scared of fixed camera angles, man. I fixed am... camera angles aren't bad. It's like... He's dead. Full of bloodlust as always. But you helped me. Once again. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Y'all can't hear me, though. This game can sue itself and win. <laughs> oh, man. This is OG of Identity Disorder. Kyle, yeah, it has no idea what it wants to be, honestly. Speak. Look at my tongue. A pat. With a dragon, nonetheless. Why is this section so the slow? Is no longer safe. I, I thought I would take Furiai to the elf village. Since the elves are bound to eternal neutrality, their village will be a safe haven from the Empire. While it may be dangerous to take the goddess from the castle, what else is there to do? Furiai is the goddess that protects the If they're bound sea. to neutrality, doesn't that just mean if uh, one of the two the nations decides to fuck them up, they can't protect themselves? I will like. Protect her. And what about you, Kyle? You once called Furiai your sister. Oh shit. Was there like a falling out between us? Wait, is she mute too? Did she also take a pact with a dragon? Why hasn't she said anything this whole time? The goddess. Upon the goddess's soul lies the awesome weight of the seals, a weight that inflicts torment so great that her very flesh seems to be torn asunder. But the continuity of all reason, or continuity of all reason, and order of the world rests on her life, and she can do naught but suffer in silence under the burden of her great duty. So every waking moment of her life, she feels like the flesh is being rendered from her bone? Bruh. <laughs> This game's fucking wild. Only with death, death does the goddess's task end. At the moment of her passing, omens and potents appear throughout the world, identifying the next young woman who is to become the bearer of the seal. None can refuse the sacred duty. It is an evil nightmare that must be repeated again and again for as long as mankind still lives. I guess maybe that's why she doesn't talk. If she opened her mouth for too long, I can only assume, like, screams of torment would escape. Perhaps we should celebrate. Oh my god, is he a fucking bard? Bro, I didn't realize we were playing D&D. &D. That would actually explain a lot. It ended already. Turned it up for nothing. My neck fucking hurts, dude. Chapter 2, The Silent Force. That seems like an excellent place to call it, dude. Wait, why did Rat Jam not work? Do we not have that one? No, we only have Cat Jam, don't we? Like on my end. Yeah, I guess I do. Well, <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, uh, real quick though, before we do finish for the night, I just want to know how long to be... Jesus Christ, I can't type tonight. Drakengard. How long is it? 20 and a half hours, man. Do I put it on the list? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into... I, I want to know more about the story now. Not even because so much of what I've seen, because from what I've seen, it seems interesting, but not like 
you know, that powerful. But the fucking ending that Chocobo brought up, the synopsis for ending number five, makes me want to play more of the game just so I can see what the hell happens at the end of this game. Like, are they all that wild? I don't know. Fucking crazy. But I'm gonna have to look, like, is Guard 2 and 3 worth playing? Because if those ones aren't worth playing either, then I'm probably just gonna skip it. Uh, finishing it. But if they actually look good, then, like, yeah. That's the 100%? Oh, that would make sense, huh? With it being the fifth and final ending? Yeah, well, we're not gonna go for that. But, like, for full clear? 33 and a half? Which isn't that bad, I guess. For the completionist run? I don't know, though, dude. Like, is it worth that? I do kind of want to see it in person. I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take a look at Dragon Guard two and three. If they look like good games, then we'll do, we'll, we'll at least put it on the list, and then we can decide at that point if we want to do a full run or not. Uh, pets two. Pets dogs two. On average, for the PlayStation two copy. It's about eight hours. On all systems, the average is six and a half. But on PlayStation 2, there's only three recorded playthroughs of it. Um, but that doesn't make sense. There's three recorded playthroughs, but four different times listed here. Anyways, main story is listed as seven and a half. Main plus extras, 10 hours, 20 minutes. No 100% on file. Six hours, 30 minutes is the fastest on file. And the slowest was 10 hour, 20 minutes. I guess one or two of the people must have submitted more than one time. But like, yeah. You're gonna sue yourself for emotional damage and defamation, Nate. You have a solid case. Man, I hope you win, dude. For real. Get a couple hundred grand real quick. Buy your house outright. Get yourself a new car. No, I hope I hope the best for you, my guy. And then maybe I can get your lawyer, cause I've definitely done some stupid shit in my life <laughs> that I wouldn't mind suing myself over. This fucking music is ear grating, though, man. Yeah, it's, it's, dude, my neck is really fucked up. But, anyways. I can't imagine this is how the game is supposed to sound like. Here, I'm gonna turn it up. It's the same like fucking four notes, four, four strums or whatever, <laughs> like over and over again. I don't even know what this is, like instrument this is, but like, hmm, mm mm mm. No Uematsu on this one? I'm sure, I'm sure as hell hope not. <laughs> I doubt it says, like, who did the music on the back. Probably have to see the credits for that, but... Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. That was, uh, honestly... Not terrible, man. It's just, like... It does a lot of things and nothing perfectly... Nothing, nothing great, rather. No game's perfect, but... It's the washing machine that's the instrument that's playing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, my neck actually legit hurts. I gotta get off here. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Today is Sunday. Uh, Morrowind on Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. We'll figure that out closer to Tuesday, I guess. Until then, though, guys, have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me while I play Dragon Guard. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I, uh... Mostly did. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.